Hello and welcome back to Culinary Haven. To continue our Christmas baking, today we are making German Christmas cookies called Liebkuchen, which translates to gingerbread. It was invented in Nuremberg in Bavaria. The warm spices, the honey and of course the beautiful snowy white icing make it the perfect Christmas cookie. Let's begin. To make the Liebkuchen we will need 250 grams of plain flour, 90 grams or about 3 quarters of a cup ground almonds, 90 grams or 6 tablespoons of butter, a zest of 1 small lemon, 200 ml of honey, 2 tablespoons of brown sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of ground ginger, a quarter of a teaspoon of white pepper, a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cloves and a quarter of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg and also a teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of soda and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And we'll start with melting the butter, the honey and the brown sugar. So we'll take a small pot, we'll put the butter in it, the honey, 200 ml of clear honey and two tablespoons of dark brown sugar and we'll bring it to a simmer on a very low heat stirring until the butter and the sugar melt. Just make sure that it don't go away and keep stirring, it won't take long. We don't want to burn anything so stir it gently and in a couple of minutes the sugar and the butter will melt. The butter and the sugar and the honey are ready, melted, waiting for us. Now we're going to sift the dry ingredients. 250 grams of plain flour, which is one and a half cups packed. A quarter of a teaspoon of white pepper. A quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. One teaspoon of cinnamon one teaspoon of ginger and a quarter of a teaspoon of cloves and one teaspoon of baking powder. We'll sift that. I'm leaving the salt because I want to dissolve it in the butter and honey mixture and soda as well. And I also forgot to mention we'll need one egg, one large egg and a zest of one small lemon, 90 grams three quarters of a cup almonds, stirring it. The icing sugar will need to make the icing, which is one cup or 125 grams of icing sugar. We'll separate the egg. We'll use the egg yolk for the cookie dough and the egg white for the icing. stir in the egg and now we're adding a quarter of a teaspoon of salt stir it so it melts and a quarter of a teaspoon of soda which we will activate with one teaspoon of lemon juice in and and pouring it in. It's very easy, very simple recipe and these cookies are delicious. It will be at first a very soft dough We'll need to cover it and chill for um, 30 minutes, an hour, depends on how cold your fridge is. It has to be firm enough so that we can roll little balls to make the cookies. Just now, the consistency, it looks like a thick porridge and that's what it should look like. Don't worry that it's too... too. Uh, thin 
that's fine. It will be nice and firm once it's chilled. Just make sure that you stir everything very well. All ingredients combined and that's that. It's ready. So this very soft mixture is going into the fridge to chill. You can also actually put it uh, maybe in the freezer if you have room in there and it will take less time. In the fridge about an hour so it's nice and firm. And the dough is now nicely chilled. I put it in the fridge for 25 minutes and then for 10 minutes in the freezer and it's nicely chilled and we're going to take a teaspoon probably so we need to make balls about an inch in diameter two and a half centimeters like this and flatten it slightly like this and put it on uh, prepared parchment lined baking trays and make sure that you leave some space because they will expand. I'm actually going to make three by five. This amount of dough will make 30 cookies. A little bit sticky. If you have the time, let it cool, let it chill a, a, a longer. The, the cooler the dough is, the easier it is to roll clean, wet cloth. If you wish, you can actually make the cookie dough the night before and bake them the next day. The dough will be nice and firm, not sticking to your hands. And much easier to handle. That's the first tray is ready and it's going into the preheated to 180 degrees Celsius oven for 15 minutes. Rotate mid-time. Just like I said make sure it's chilled completely. It will not then stick to your hands. There! That's it. The first batch is ready, the second is in the oven. And we'll take them off. Hot palette knife is a good tool for that. They're not sticking to the parchment. It's very easy to lift them. Look how pretty they are. Just perfect. The aroma is screaming Christmas. As the second batch is cooking, we'll prepare the icing, which is one egg white that we preserved from making the dough, one teaspoon of vanilla, mix it together, gently. We don't want to whisk vigorously because we don't want bubbles in our icing. We want it nice and smooth, like a white paint. About a cup of icing sugar. Why I'm saying about a cup, it could be a little bit more, a little bit less, because the eggs have different sizes and so the amount of the whites can be different. So I'll show you the consistency that we're looking for. I'm using the whisk so that um, whatever um, little lumps there are in the icing sugar will be separated but I'm not whisking it. I need a little bit more icing sugar. A tablespoon. It's a very large egg. One more. Nice, smooth, no lumps runny but not too runny. Because I've added vanilla extract our snow tops won't be perfectly white. Uh, next time I'll probably add vanilla 
the sugar instead of vanilla extract, but it will taste amazing. Let's decorate. For the pasta brush, hold your cookie and paint. They're still warm, so the icing will dry quickly. If you don't have a pastry brush, you can use a palette knife or an offset spatula or uh, a butter knife. Or just go and buy one. If you are into baking, there are so many things you can do with a pastry brush. This will be enough icing for both trays. You won't need to make more. Only we'll have six to go and plenty of icing left. There, 15 down, 15 to go. Thank you for watching this episode of Culinary Haven. Stay tuned for more Christmas baking. Until next time, bye.